morning y'all welcome back to my little corner of the internet for today's video I thought I would do a what I eat in a day I stayed up late last night on Cinco de Mayo making empanadas I am having a hard time waking up this morning worth it though it's a dark gray rainy Monday morning which sounds so pleasant if I got to stay in bed all morning but I have a lot to do today, so I'll go ahead and show y'all what I'm having for breakfast. So for breakfast, I am having some healthy banana bread that I made the other day. And of course, my black cup of French press. I made this with oat flour and chickpea flour and dates instead of sugar. So it's kind of crumbly because I dropped it when I was pulling it out of the oven, but I smushed it together and it still tastes good. I'm gonna try it again and hopefully not drop it and it will look better next time. And since it is Monday morning, I'm gonna plan my day in my calendar while I eat my breakfast. It's about one o'clock and I'm starting to get hungry. So I heated up some of the empanadas I made last night. And I'm gonna dip them in this green salsa that we get from the farmer's market. These are not healthy, but I have them left over from yesterday and they're really tasty. So I'm gonna eat them. I know it's not a food, but it's calories. I'm gonna have, ooh. I'm gonna have a glass of this booch. See if I can do this one-handed. All right, no, I can't, hold on. Yeah, okay, this works better. We get this kombucha at our farmer's market. I think it's Buddha Brew, but you like bring your growler back and you can fill it up and mix flavors and stuff. So this one has blueberry, ginger, and a little bit of pineapple. And I haven't tried this blend, so. I feel 
like it's a little bit sour for me, but it's drinkable. I like it. So it's about 5.30. Still not hungry. I'm about to go type everything into chronometer and see how many calories I've had today. As soon as my partner gets home, we have an errand to run. And then we'll see if I want a snack when I get back. But so far I'm good. So the last thing I'm having for bed is a cup of bedtime tea. Still too hot to drink. I just poured the boiling water in there. It is a little bit later than I usually like to be relaxing, drinking my tea. It's about nine o'clock, but it's not too late yet. As of this point, I haven't plugged it all into chronometer, but when I do, I'll pop up the calories for everything I ate today. I also ate a cookie, which I will pop the calories for now, and I'll go over the total calories and stuff probably later. Yeah, I actually have no idea how this day was because I don't usually track anything, but I guess we'll see. I hope you enjoyed this little what I eat in a day and the AC just kicked on, so sorry if it got a little louder. I hope to do more of these in the future with the more normal stuff I eat because what I eat today is not usually what I eat and I'm interested to see what the calories and the macros would be for a normal day versus an off day like today. So my total calories for this day were 1,771 and the allowance that chronometer gives me for my body height and weight is 1,913 so that's a difference of 142 calories and I am trying to lose weight so I am trying to eat at a slight calorie deficit now normally I would like to have a little bit more than this but I think for not eating the best foods this day staying under calories is is still great my macros for this day were not quite where I usually like them. Protein was at 38 grams. That's fine. I'm not super worried about that one. Carbs, 213.6 grams. That's not too bad. And fat was way too high. I do not like to eat this much fat usually. It was 78.4 grams. So overall, it wasn't a horrible day, but it wasn't the best of days. I definitely did not meet my nutrient needs going through each of the micros on chronometer. I met a lot of them, but not all of them. I definitely do not recommend anybody eat this way. This was just me on one random day. And take it as meal ideas. We all have kind of off days, not the greatest of days. But I'm glad that my off day wasn't that bad. Overall, not a horrible day. Not a great day. Just a day. Make sure you check out the links in the description. I have links to the documentary I watched on YouTube while I was eating lunch. Links to the kombucha brand. To the coffee we buy. The salsa. And the bedtime tea. A lot of that comes from our local farmer's market, and even if you're not in Austin, Texas, you can order online from some of these places if you want to try what I've been consuming. Better yet, find your local versions and see if there's a farmer's market near you. It's a great place to discover new, exciting, delicious flavors locally produced in your area. If you enjoy these what I eat in a day videos, let me know down in the comments or leave this video a like. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from me. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I posted a picture of the empanadas the night that I made them on Instagram. 
I am the Vegan Rainbow. Thank y'all for watching. Bye, y'all.